Not all witchcraft is dark spells and evil forces. More typical of modern Wicca is Selena Fox. In America's Midwest, she embraces people with white magic. A lot of people really confuse witchcraft or Wicca, um, pagan religions, with devil worship. They feel that it's evil, that we're harming people, um, that we're putting spells over people without you know, consulting them, and we're really not coming from that space at all. Most people who get to know us realize what we're doing is a very positive thing, that we're working with the energies of the earth, that we're very much tuned into a love consciousness, that we're seeking to do those kinds of things that religions all around the world have at their very essence, which is working with healing, working with love, working with achieving an inner balance and an inner communion with the divine. The ritual that we are doing is being held on a mound, a sacred mound, which we believe was used by Native American peoples here for thousands of years. We decided we would reactivate it as a sacred place. So this ceremony is for dedicating the mound as an earth healing temple. In this sacred circle, there is unity, there is love. We are one with each other and with the earth, the spirit of this place. So mote it be. So mote it be. We consecrate this place as a sacred place of healing. We are part of a whole. We are part of all of Mother Earth, and it's important to see that and to work in harmony with the other life forms. And by putting that thought there, if enough people held that image in their mind, real magic would start happening on the planet. People would start treating each other differently. They would start not only treating other humans differently, but plants and animals and the ground that we walk on, the air that we breathe, the water that we drink, Magic is real, and I don't see it as supernatural, but very much natural. We call the spirits of North from the home of the northern winds and spectacular lights. Bless this sacred space with your gifts of ground. We call the spirits of West. Land of the setting sun, of the moon and the oceans, of the waters within our minds and our bodies. Spirit of South, Bring us intuition arise in us, for this circle. consecrate this temple of the earth.
a few months ago, um, a national Catholic newspaper interviewed me. And the first thing I said to them was Jesus Christ was a witch. And it talked about how the path of Wicca and its love consciousness is real similar to what Christ was espousing. The golden rule we have is worded a bit differently and harm none, do what you will, but it's the same thing. You know, it's loving your neighbor as yourself. More life, more love, more freedom, more joy, 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 more life, more love, more freedom, more joy. Bexhill on Sea, a small English resort town. Alex Sanders lives here. Among occultists, he's internationally renowned as the King of the Witches. Approaching 70, he believes he can still summon magical forces. In particular, an Aztec fire spirit. No, it doesn't mean she doesn't look. The things that have happened over the years. It's sacrificial. Make sure it's central. In the old days, he used to throw his spears and his knives and cause fires. Get it down one further one side than the other. Oh, it's pretty well. The feather being, the Aztec, he arrived about 12 years ago and started to manifest through me. And when he started to take over, I'm a trans medium. And the moments I put the mask on, I start to change. I don't particularly like to do it. Mm. I'm already beginning it to go. I don't know whether I can stand up. It's changing. When the feather's gone, then I become a leader of my people. And I want to blaze a trail. I want to defend everything against evil and against wrongdoing. strange looks and many people are frightened of me. That's their fault, not mine. I've got friends among the police and I help them too. I work for the Department of Occult Investigation. And after the sniffing fields, holes in the ground to find out where bodies are buried, I help. Magic, the way that I understand it, is to do with initiation of one's own inner being. And after many struggles, to have the ability to change one's consciousness at will. And that happens to me with the Aztec. I've been a magician since I was 16. Um, my grandmother died in April. And in January, she gave me my second degree which involved a third for the second time, and the third is the sacred rite of sex. And she took me through that, and a few months later, she was dead. Sanders' reputation spread rapidly to America. He's important enough to have had an entire tradition named after him, Alexandrian witchcraft. So how, one may ask, does it feel to be a witch in the computer age? Being a modern contemporary witch in the world of computers, fantastic. I'll kill the bastard who stole my computer. I was 
getting everything worked out astrologically on 144 cassettes. And he walked in and took it so much for magic. <laughs> <laughs>